Today is 11-18, 2024. I have uh, booted into uh, Vanilla Pup 64. Uh, here, I'll bring the Super D, we'll uh, bring up the uh, 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 Genie that I'm running. So this is a pretty much a default, a fresh install of uh, Vanilla Pub 64. And I wanted to just do a brief review uh, of uh, Vanilla Pup, Pup uh, because it is somewhat unique in that Puppy Linux uh, world. Uh, uh, besides Vanilla Pub 64 and Bookworm Pub 64, uh, the other uh, 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 distros uh, uh, Puppet Linux uh, you have to use a uh, graphic interface of uh, Puppy Package Manager to uh, to uh, install and remove um, uh, applications generally but uh, these two are exceptions in that you can use apt command and also synaptic uh, package manager but I just want to do a brief uh, review of this uh, somewhat unique Vanilla Pub 64. So we'll go to uh, uh, Virtual Desktop 1 here. So is a uh, Vanilla the Pub is a mem member of a large family of uh, distros, puppy distros. And uh, we can just go to the download puppy from uh, site here and this is where you can download and I'll leave a exact uh, 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 address and description but uh, you need to go to uh, 10, uh, 10, 10 uh, 0 here and go to the forum and then you go to uh, this here and I've actually uh, uh, am running 64-bit and here so you just uh, download uh, what's appropriate for you and uh, I downloaded 10 uh, 0 66 ISO and installed it uh, fr frugally in my uh, UEFI uh, PC and it, it seems to run fine and I did adjust the uh, font size so it'd be easier for you to see and um, but otherwise I haven't done much uh, and I've uh, installed the uh, simple screen recorder by uh, uh, apt command and I updated and upgraded the uh, package uh, with the command so if you just look at the um, uh, screen uh, the uh, there is two trays one is here the other one is hidden and when you just move up the uh, mouse it, uh, the tray, uh, another tray uh, uh, comes up and if you just click it elsewhere it goes away and you just uh, move it up. Uh, I, For me I generally just use one tray and uh, this tray here and I bring it up and I eliminate uh, this tray here which I don't use. So. But uh, let me just, uh, besides that, I think that these are fairly standard and I usually just uh, uh, like to have a clean uh, desktop and you can just go ahead and right click on any of them and then just remove items. Uh, so you can remove uh, whatever you, so I'll just remove the uh, lock and zip. So you can just, uh, uh, have a relatively uh, customized uh, uh, desktop uh, icons but let me just uh, uh, have you go uh, to well just uh, F12 is generally uh, uh, you'll bring up the menus and uh, desktop settings is sort of uh, is also similar to what's called a JWM uh, desktop so it gives you uh, quickly a graphic interface where you can um, uh, modify a trace and so on and then font I've already modified uh, uh, standard is 96 but I made it to 144 because it'll be much easier for you to see so and 
and uh, here uh, we can uh, adjust it with desktop icons but uh, if I do that it's gonna uh, mess up the uh, screen recording so I'll just come out of that um, so the tray you can tray is here and second tray is up here and that's the one uh, I uh, will uh, uh, not use and I can we can just go ahead and just delete tray right now do you want to just delete tray yes so now there is no tray is gone so that's how that works and uh, I think the other ones uh, uh, wallpaper and so on is self-explanatory and theming desktop icons you can uh, adjust here and then we uh, right now they're overlapping and it doesn't look very uh, nice so uh, what I can do is uh, uh, generally what I would like to do is just go ahead and double the number spacing number here say 60 starting with 64 is so we'll 128 and then leave it on the bottom and then OK uh, I won't do that because it may uh, uh, interfere with the uh, screen recording but then you will have much larger separation with a clear uh, um, uh, text underneath that, that's readable so we'll just quit out of that and we'll go into F12 again and the other ones are fairly standard uh, in that uh, uh, there is gparted here and uh, set up uh, quick uh, initial setup I've already done that already and you can see here there is a two, uh, there is a puppy package manager also besides the synaptic uh, package manager but the uh, uh, puppy package manager uh, that's built in is very minimal you really can't uh, install much and uh, we'll see if there is that we can install NeoFetch through here no not even NeoFetch so but uh, I think the um, so most of what you want to do is uh, uh, will be in Synaptic so we can just go into Synaptic and then we'll make it uh, large so we'll just uh, super up arrow key and then super F uh, let's say um, what did I uh, neo fetch okay search so you can see that then you can go ahead and right click and you can uh, pretty much install any uh, application uh, before you ins do uh, you install you should do a reload but uh, I've actually done that with a, a apt up date and upgrade command uh, already so we'll just quit without installing so and then so that's the uh, major difference SFS has to do with the puppy packages and um, utility there is a uh, LX terminal and GEXEC but I am uh, but I prefer uh, Synapse is a uh, these are uh, these are uh, what's called the application launcher and uh, uh, Synapse is for me much easier to use in uh, Puppy Linux so and then file system rocks filer uh, is all standard and graphic and uh, you can certainly uh, use a uh, so you can, uh, if you want to install uh, GIMP, for example, it's just a matter of apt install GIMP, or you also want to install something else, X term, and just Y, and then enter, and then uh, you'll just uh, install these. Uh, uh, so and then, uh, so they ha that's how you can install. Matter of fact, uh, maybe we'll just do that. So apt install gimp and xterm 
and then there is a few other things uh, once that I make sure that it's already all installed um, new fetch new fetch and so that's how you can install these uh, uh, just using a um, uh, apt command and then that way you don't even have to uh, uh, deal with the synaptic package manager and uh, in my experience always uh, apt command terminal is quicker than uh, s using synaptic so and uh, let's just go down and uh, now uh, GIMP is installed we would just install this so let's just go ahead and see if fire uh, fires it up so yes it does indeed work and then uh, graphic and documents PDF and so otherwise it's fairly standard uh, puppy Linux there is a Firefox ESR is uh, already uh, uh, installed but I prefer regular file file uh, Firefox and that can be easily uh, changed and what's interesting is uh, most of the Puppet Linux uh, dead beef uh, is not installed by default you usually have to put uh, um, hunt it down with a, uh, a uh, app image file or a portable file but uh, in interestingly enough the uh, uh, music player uh, uh, dead beef is already installed here so we'll just come come out of that and then F12 again so uh, so I think the uh, we'll just leave it at that so I uh, just a brief overview of uh, of uh, vanilla uh, vanilla deep pop